The horn shark gets its name from its short blunt head with high ridges above its eyes. They have two spikes that they use for protection on their first and second dorsal fins, which you can see here on link. Both of the sharks that are featured in this video are rescues. The adult, whose name was El Guapo, was rescued several years ago and unfortunately passed away in December of 2018 due to complications from his initial living conditions that I rescued him from. The juvenile's name is Link, and I saw him in a fish store a few weeks after El Guapo had passed away. He had come in by mistake in an order and was very skinny. Since I've rescued and rehabilitated a horn shark before, I knew that he might not make it if I did not bring him home. And so I did. Now Link has gained a healthy weight and is thriving. He will join my gray bamboo shark in the main pond as soon as he gets a bit bigger in size. Here are some interesting facts about the horn shark. The horn shark belongs to the Heterodontidae family. They are found on the west coast of North America from California to the Gulf of California. They are primarily loners. They spend their entire life in an area no larger than 3,300 square feet. In the wild, they will migrate to deeper water in order to stay warm during the winter, but they've never been recorded to travel more than 10 miles away from their home. Their maximum length as adults is 2 to a little over 3 feet. The males are typically smaller than the females. The spikes on their dorsal fins are used for protection. With their small size and tendency to be alone, they can become easy prey to larger species of sharks and fish. These spikes prevent a larger animal from being able to bite down on them. The spikes are said to be mildly venomous as well, although not very much is known about the venom from what I could find while researching. However, getting stuck by one of these spikes can be extremely painful and will deter a large predator from consuming the horn shark. These sharks are pretty slow, sluggish, and stay mostly on the bottom of the seabed. They have a pretty gnarly jaw, which they can use for crushing small crustaceans and bony fish, which they eat quite a bit of. The horn shark is oviparous. The females can lay up to 25 eggs that look like this during their spawning season. The ridge that runs along the outside of the egg in a spiral allows the mother to wedge the egg in the crevices of rocks in order to keep them safe until they hatch. Generally, these sharks are not a threat to humans, but when harassed, they have been known to bite. So unless one of these sharks is used to humans handling them and you have permission to pet them, I would advise against it. The horn shark's IUCN red list status is data deficient with the last assessment from March 6, 2014. They're known to be discarded when caught as bycatch. In Mexico, this species is used for food and fish meal, and in California, its spines are made into jewelry. They're regularly bred in captivity, so hopefully a wild population study is done soon, and if their species needs assistance recovering, a plan will be put in place to assist them. Let me know in the comments below which public aquariums have this species on display so that if anyone who's watching this wants to see one in person, they can.